Well, uh, so my name's George, and I'm going to be talking. Well, I, I volunteer as part of with with Sheffield Climate Alliance, and I'm part of the Climate Jobs Campaign Group. I'm just going to tell you about a project that we've started working on quite recently. Um, on Adam's U, we're kind of like right at the start, I guess, and. Uh, it relates, quite, it, it relates indirectly to the university, but it, it kind of relates quite directly to a lot of what we've been talking about, about how to influence leaders and about how to kind of create collaborative leadership, that sort of thing. Um, so a little bit of context, uh, Sheffield City Region, which is made up of all these different towns, um, is soon going to kind of finalise a devolution deal. So uh, there's going to be powers uh, that, are currently in, in, uh, that, are, that are currently held centrally that are going to come to Sheffield. And that's also going to involve quite a lot of money over the next uh, 20 or 30 years, like one and a half billion or so. So uh, with that in mind, uh, the anchor institutions of Sheffield, which are the universities apparently, uh, and the teaching hospitals, uh, decided it would be a good idea to build a vision or create a vision of what Sheffield should be looking like for in the, through the next 25 years. So uh, the universities... Uh, teaching hospitals collaborated with the councils, uh, the LEP, uh, various uh, community groups, businesses, and they kind of did this really big consultation to work out uh, a, a, a kind of a communal vision for the next 25 years of Sheffield. And that was released in February this year. Uh, they called it A Better Future Together. Um, you can call it just like the Sheffield, Sheffield City Region vision. Uh, a lot of it was pretty pretty exciting. Uh, they recognised the the need for kind of not just economic uh, development within Sheffield, but the need for social development, and the fact that they recognised like the social deprivation that goes on in a lot of Sheffield, and it was quite quite progressive in, in the, that sort of way. Uh, so they kind of identified six programmes, which. Um, well, well, anyway, so like the, the context of this is that no, we, we kind of read it and we were like, okay, there was some good stuff, there's some good stuff here, uh, but they haven't talked about climate change at all or anything to do with sustainability at all, which seemed a bit odd to us because they're talking about the next 25 years when we, that's the time when we're going to avert this catastrophe, right? Um, so they kind of identified six programs of change uh, which build an ambitious economy, so there was, there was like an economy a program. Um, there was a program where they were talking about like merging uh, global influence and uh, with an appreciation of like the local. Um, so that's kind of obviously trying to like uh, bridge the tension between universities and lo local businesses. Um, they had a section on health and well-being, section on education and skills. They had a section on promoting the green network. And if you see here, there's a windmill between the two trees. But don't be fooled because there's nothing in that section at all about uh, sustainable energy or anything like that. It's, uh, it, yeah, anyway. Uh, and then the final section was about connectivity. Uh, so that's transport mostly, but also uh, digital connectivity. Um, so as a campaigning group, we organized a meeting with the lead author of this report. Um, she's called Heather Campbell. She's a professor in the planning department. Uh, in the Sheffield, in the university here. Um, and we had a really good meeting with her in some ways. Uh, she, she's clearly a really compassionate and uh, a woman who's really concerned with social justice within Sheffield. And uh, her main concern is kind of creating this idea of collaborative leadership uh, within the Sheffield City region, which is going to be really important. Um, and it would be great if there was a coherent vision of Sheffield. Um, it's, and she and she did kind of seem like she got our message about uh, climate change, and she and she kind of said, "Oh well, we think that the uh, the Sheffield vision uh, implicitly implicitly acknowledged uh, climate change." And then she pointed us towards this section five, and we were like, well, "Yeah, but that's not really our that's not really our kind of idea." So um, we then went away and started working on a response, which was. Uh, and, and in it, we have set out, which we now we finished on Friday, um, and we've set out an agenda of how we think uh, building a program of 
uh, sustainable investments and uh, climate jobs could solve a lot of, or, or at least help towards a lot of the uh, outcomes that they want in the report. Um, so this, this, I know this sounds like a bit dense, but the, the, the idea is that we're trying to like present a win-win sit situation. So an example might help. Uh, if, if there was a lot of money, or if there was a, a program of insulation, uh, uh, home, home insulation throughout Sheffield, that would create uh, like 1,200 jobs. It would save a huge amount of money in terms of energy savings. It would obviously have really good social outcomes uh, uh, be because of like, the lack of reducing fuel poverty. Uh, just people are happier when they're less cold. Um, all, all of these co-benefits. And at the same time, it reduces carbon emissions. And we, we, we kind of, um, we just, we've, what's the word? We've set out in, a, in this kind of evidence-based report uh, numerous, like dozens and dozens of ways that uh, these co-benefits could be capitalized on um, if, if the vision was more sustainable. Um, yeah. So, so that's, that's kind of where we're at, and I, I, I think I'll probably be running out of time. Uh, so. The, we've now we've now finished this this response, and our next the next we and we sent it to uh, Heather Campbell, and the, the next stage is that we we want to bring it out to, a kind of the wider community. Uh, people in this room would be able to definitely contribute a lot to the discussion, um, and we want to, kind of build a more collaborative, sustainable vision of Sheffield through through this response. Um, yeah, I, I hope that I hope that's clear. And uh, Thank you. and uh, yeah, maybe we could talk about it afterwards.